like, okay, and I was out walking and a storm started brewing, so I came in. I stopped by the mailbox and I had a Keisha haul. Yeah, from Keisha's Market. My husband wasn't real happy when he saw the bill, but you know, I do need to watch it. So Keisha, if I'm not at your next one, you'll know why. So, not a lot of separate things, but plenty. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the glue that I just got from Amazon. I know you're worried about that. These little metal bead, the bag popped open. I think she got too many in my bag. So I've got them here in my little Angie bowl. Um, but, I can dye these, and as some of you know, I'm really into um, alcohol inks right now. So I'm going to probably dye some of those. I got some gorgeous embroider floss, and I'm getting ready today to do my, um, start my um, quilted panel. So, I will be using all these colors in that. Because it's got lots of colors. And these are like $1.25 each. Oh, this was $2, <coughs> excuse me, for this bag. And we all know you can't get it new for that. But I do have enough. I don't need to order any more from dear Keisha. I need to get this all used up. Yeah, I ordered a lot of this. I know my lives are kind of blurry, so I'm. you're probably going to see more of uploaded videos for right now until I can figure out what's going on. I might even try a premiere. I don't know what I'm going to do on Tuesdays, though, yet. So you can comment down below what you prefer me doing. I love that shade of pink. And then there's, I mean, these are brand, almost brand new DMC for $1.50 each. So I couldn't leave them behind. And then here's just some thread that I can also use slow stitching. Um, I can double it and, or triple it and use that as well. And then I got several of these little wooden tags that I believe did Feral made. If I'm wrong, please say so in the comments. But they say like Imagine Fairy Tales Once Upon a Time Storybook Love Stories, Journey, Imagine. And I am going to use these. Well, I've got too many just to use on one journal. But I know I'm going to use um, some of these for my um, library journal. Won't they be perfect? I was excited when I saw those. And then... Little Miss, I saw this stamp set. I had to get it with the ballerina slippers and the paper dolls. I mean, this just has Emerson's name on it. So I will go and put that in the load to go back up and look at the lips or whatever that is. So I'll take those back up and Emerson can have a good play with them. 
And then these came up next. And I thought those were real fun to stamp on Happy Mail. So, those are for me. Then, I just thought these were fun. These, I believe, are stickers. Eyes on the stars, feet on the ground, Twitter. Some of these I'll put in my steampunk thing. Flash Gordon says, I come back to Earth regularly for that good Gordon's bread. Rebecca. Um, price guide to antiques. These were different kinds of deals, but what driving power. I love these little ads. And you probably saw me do the vintage ads on um, paper clips. Well, won't these be cute on paper clips? And like I said, some theater, library, American Girl, library. And they have several inside them. So I'll go through those and decide what ones go in journals that are coming up and what ones aren't. And then here is, and I think this might be a Deb Farrell. If I'm wrong, forgive me. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't make it. Know that much. Look how cute this is. And I believe they're all ladybugs, but I may be wrong. But see, this is something you can do with fabric. Yeah, they're all ladybugs. Are those not cute? And I love how she tied this on it so it doesn't come unrolled. So, um... It's a half a yard of it which is more than enough. And I'm gonna leave those just like that until I get them put away. Whoa, I got something stuck on my finger. These are J, E, and K. I just thought they'd be something I could do for the kids, with the kids, I'm not sure. They're just plastic letters. And they'll go up north with me. This is a beaded doll that I thought was so clever. And it's a dangle, but it's a mermaid dangle. Let me just cut this out of the bag. I'm tired of. Isn't that darling? I just thought it was really cute. There are people with clever ideas, aren't there? And then there's some of this strip of fabric. Isn't that pretty? And I use a lot of this. I use a lot of it for ribbon, trims, tie a journal, um, Ruffles. Here are some napkins. These pretty and springy. Two of each, I believe. The shamrock. My son was due on St. Patrick's Day. Came too early. Came a week early. He was fine. But too early to make it on a holiday. So there are those. And then, I've got, I love this fabric. Look at these vintage ladies by Simplicity. Isn't that fun? Don't know what I'll do with it, but I can guarantee you I'm gonna do something. I just think that's really fun. Here's some more fabric. 
I believe it's vintage fabric. Just already cut, but look at it. Perfect for slow stitching, cutting up, all those kind of things. And it's vintage. So I, I've, I've got lots of uses for this kind of thing. The orange and brown reminds me of my bedroom when I was a probably junior high. Here's some more coffee dyed paper, I believe. I think this may be cabbage dyed. Beautiful smell. That pretty green for spring and March. For some reason, March, you think green. I think maybe I need to start gathering for a green journal. Yes, cabbage. Cabbage dyed. Not something I will never do because um, I can't stand to smell cabbage cooking. I'm fine with other greens. Look at this. That neat. It's fabric that looks like somebody's had a good play with it. Perfect for um, slow stitching, isn't it? Looks like it's already marked up perfectly. Here are some charms I got because I'm a breast cancer survivor and it was just the little breast cancer thing. Something I can give to someone who um, maybe is diagnosed with breast cancer and I can put that on their card. Here is eco dyed paper. Um, I love eco dyed paper, especially if I'm the one that doesn't have to do it. Look at that cardstock. The back. That'll be a flip. But see, even this would work in a green journal. So I think that's something I'm gonna get started on. I've got pink, blue, and purple. Amanda, and I don't know Amanda's last name, always does a um, digital set. And this time I just got the backgrounds. But see the green? Orange and blue, aren't those gorgeous? And this is stuff I can't do. In fact, everything is I bought, I couldn't make, or I would need to look at what I bought in order to make it. But I just thought this turquoise and rust, and look at this print. And then I can copy dye the back. So these will be all cool. They'd be pretty copy dyed on the back. I won't copy dye the front because I don't want to take this away from it. Then this was one of the last things I think I purchased. I've still got this packet, I know. Um, it's a journal cover. And when you see it, you'll see why it's a journal cover. Look at this. Now, some of you might remember what I got at Walmart that I coffee dyed, that small um, license plate. This is large. 
And it's all sewing license plates. Rather be sewing. One stitch, two sips. Uh, because I said so. Vote for fabric. Let's be social. Fabric attic. Create and joy. Quilters are cool. Some fab. So busy. So you know what that's going to be. That's going to be a sewing journey. And last but certainly not least, oh, smells so good. Look at this fabric and the laces. And like I said, Slow stitching, stuff I don't have. Wouldn't this make a sweet little pocket for a little girl's dress? I know, I got to get to sewing more. Look at that color. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at these ribbons. Lace. absolutely gorgeous. I saw Carol at the um, Canadian Artisan. She had fabric similar to this and she painted these curly cues. I may have to try that. Look at this. I mean, just strips of this as ruffle and lace. It looks so old. I'm sure it's tea dyed or something. Look at that. I mean, I don't find these fabrics anymore. And then look at all the white. Oh, look at the beads. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah, I think so too. Look at that. You know these are all slow stitching pieces, don't you? Or a fancy journal. be pretty on the cover of a shabby chic. This is all going to go in the living room when I get back to my slow stitching after I, I may do both at the same time. Are you on and ooing at your house? I don't know if these are handmade. I don't know if these are machine made. I don't care. You know, I'm one of those. See, I can cut this up. Absolutely stunning. And then, I always say Keisha gives the best thank yous. And this one, you're going to see. I'm asking God to show you his bigness and give you peace. I believe it's all going to be okay. And from Joshua 1, 9 
Don't be afraid because the Lord your God will be with you everywhere you go. Thank you. Got a little charm there. Always remember, you have a purpose. Bye for now.